Hi guys, I'm Sam and I've got Phil here um, and we want to talk to you about the submissions. Yeah, so you've, you're at this page and that means you're making a submission against Trans-Tasman Resources application to mine the ocean off the coast of Patea. So thank you for uh, coming this far and we just want to talk about how to make a, an effective submission. To me, this, the, the idea of appearing in front of a serious looking DMC is pretty daunting and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, so, Phil, since you've been to a couple of those hearings, can you maybe um, explain us what it looks like? Does it feel like being in court? It's a little bit scary, but um, you know, it's not. It's not super hard. The setting isn't as formal as a court process. It's it's a lot more relaxed than that. At the hearing. Um, is it just me speaking to the DMC, or are they actually going to go and ask me a question, or even try and um, pick my argument apart? You'll deliver your submission, and then they they may or may not ask you questions afterwards. Um, I haven't seen them um, be combative and aggressive to to submitters before, so you know you can you can relax around that. Just be respectful to them and be respectful to the process. You'll have between five and ten minutes, um, maybe as long as fifteen minutes, to deliver your submission, your oral submission. Um, and you can do that in any way you like. You can you can read it out. You can freestyle it. You can sing a song. You can you can do an interpretive dance. Um, you know whatever way you feel best. Will I have to stick to the points that I mentioned in a submission? Yeah, that's important. When you go to speak at the hearing, you need to um, simply expand upon the the points that are in your submission. Mm -hmm. But speaking about the broad range of topics doesn't feel like the best use of the time. I wouldn't try and cover everything in your oral submission. Yeah. I'd cover one or two topics and, and um, you know, it's about expressing your your depth of feeling. It's about expressing your personal connection with the marine environment, your personal um, reasons that this shouldn't go ahead. If you tick the box and you say you want to um, speak at the hearing, it's important that you stay in communication with the EPA. They will send you emails about scheduling your, your appearance. So please be responsive to me. Yes. I'm ready now to take that box. Thanks for that, Phil. Mm. Yeah, it's a good way to uh, really make your submission uh, have more weight and, and have more effect on the process.